the pixel brush is going to be the hardest part of this project. So listen up carefully. And my recommendation is that you play the video, watch one part where it teaches you a skill, pause the video, open up Photoshop, apply what you've learned, then go back to the videos, play the video again, learn the next step, pause it, apply it to Photoshop, and keep repeating that, those steps. That way you can take it piece by piece and make Pixel Brush your friend. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do with the Pixel Brush is go ahead and select the Marquee Selection Tool. Um, it is rectangular, that's good. I want the Rectangular Marquee Selection Tool. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and click and drag over one of these little squares, or pixels, I should say. And you'll notice that it's nicely locked to the grid, so I can select it. If it's not doing that, go to View, Snap to, and Grid, make sure it's checked. If it's not, just click that. So that way, it connects to the grid and it makes it easier for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select one of those squares just like a pixel would be. Then I'm gonna go to Edit, Fill Selection. Now this is really important, so listen up. So Edit, Fill Selection, click that. I'm gonna change the foreground color to black. Okay, so the foreground color to black, and I'm gonna click OK. You'll notice it changes it to black, that's okay. We'll change it back to white later. Now that I have the fill selection black, I want to make sure the reason being that it's black is so that when I make my pixel brush, it'll be that solid color that I use for my swatches. If I make it a gray or some sort of other color, the color won't come out well in the pixel brush. That's why it's black. Next thing I'm going to do is define this brush. So I'm going to go to edit, define brush from selection, and you'll notice the black pixel brush is set. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in pixel brush and hit okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I could delete that spot or I can just go to my pixel brush by hitting B and hit the down arrow so I'm in my brushes, brush tool B, down arrow here, scroll down, and here is my pixel brush. Cool, it's the last one on the bottom. That's where the new ones show up. All right, I found that if you change the size to 20 pixels, you get a better accurate painting brush. Now it covers four pixels at a time, just a heads up on that. Okay, you'll notice that there are the selection here. So if I try to color other stuff, it won't work. Okay, so I have to hit, hold down control and hit D, as in David, or should I say deselect. So it deselects those marching ants so I can continue to work on it. So again, hold down the control and hit D, as in David, or deselect. And then I can now work with my pixel brush. Remember, you can take four pixels at a time. I have white here, and it's one of my swatches, okay? So make sure you pick color from the swatches. I'm only going with three colors throughout the whole picture, like we talked about when we were saving our color swatches. I have red, white, and blue. All right, the key with coloring in the pixels, let's line everything up, make sure it lines up, and just do four at a time right now, and you're gonna want to get the ones that look like they belong with white. But if it's a lighter version of it, it's probably gonna go into that next color. This is where the artist in you has to make that decision. So I'm coloring in the ones that I think look more white versus the ones that kind of blend in with the blue. Speaking of blue, let's click the blue color and let's make that blue pixels. So I'm painting away by lining up my mouse, this artwork, so I'm ready for the Legos. 
Very nice. Doing four at a time. So I'm being very proficient. And you'll notice that we have almost like different color blues here, different shades and tints. So I could just click here, hold the shift key, and click here, and it does a nice little color ring in. So click here, hold the shift key, and the mail, and click here. Holy shift key! Click here. Let's try one more here, and hold the shift key. And click there. All right. We're so far we're plugging away. So you can get the idea of how to paint with the pixel brush. Now let's say you had an issue where you had to get two, but you had a four uh, pixel brush. So let's just click that, and then let's go back to the white. You can always make fixes. That's what's great is that this pixel brush can be forgiving. And then I'm just going to paint with the white here. And then I'm going to go back to the blue and just get rid of this. Just remember which ones need to be erased and so forth. OK, so this is the pixel brush. You then complete the image so that you're ready to make it into three colors. And then you can work with the red as well so that it all comes together so it's simplified again for your Legos. OK, and then you'd have that issue with the four here. So I'm just going to go with the white and then fix that one. Whoops, wrong color, Control-Z to undo. Let's go with the white and fix this one. Remember, don't forget when you're done with your work, file, save as, make sure it's in your My Documents, and then click, make sure it's the correct title you want. You can call it MLB Legos, and then hit Save. Hit OK. And then you must hit OK here, otherwise it won't save. All right, I hope you like this pixel brush tutorial. Um, pretty self-explanatory towards the end, but make sure you follow the steps in the beginning. It's a lot of fun, but it's, uh, it's not easy. So take your time. And again, I hope you enjoyed this.